Hello there. In this quick screencast, I want to introduce you to the new support for TypeScript in Oracle Jet. I'm in the Jet 6.0 release notes, and you will see there a bullet. TypeScript definition files are now available for Jet. To learn more, visit the TS Docs concept page. Click on that link, you will be on this page, which gives you all the basic information you need about the TS config file and related ways of working with TypeScript in the context of Oracle Jet. But there is, since very recently, also a template to get you started with TypeScript and Jet. So here I am on OTN. And if you scroll down, you'll see Jet TypeScript Starter Template Web Navbar. So you first need to click on the license agreement to accept it and then click on this link. This will download a zip file. Here is that zip file downloaded and now I double click to unzip it. Here it is, the whole folder structure. And if you know about JET, you can predict that we're going to need to run urget restore to get the information from package.json and other places to get the JavaScript libraries that constitute together a typical JET application. So I cd into that folder and I type urget restore. Once that process has completed, open the project into an editor of your choice. You will have your node modules thanks to the urget restore command. This is step three in the readme, that's part of the project. Also take note of step two to make sure that you have TypeScript installed globally and also that your version of JET is 6.0 or higher. Next, in one terminal window, you can run the TypeScript compiler with the W flag so that the TypeScript compiler will watch for changes to the TypeScript and automatically compile JavaScript files for you. And then in another terminal window, run the OJET process with serve so that the application will be served up and the OJET tool will watch for changes to the JavaScript files which will be provided by the TypeScript compiler and reserve those changed files into the application. Let's now take a look at the structure of the template. Normally, you would simply have source JS and of course not source TS. TS is for TypeScript and here you will find the TypeScript files. These are templates, a starting point, and they look very familiar to you if you've used JET before. There's always dashboard.js, instance.js, customers.js, and about.js. Those are still here, except that they are compiled there by the TypeScript compiler. So in theory, you should never need to touch these. These are all compiled for you. These are provided by the TypeScript compiler. However, the views are exactly what you would expect in a JET application. So you have source.js views. So here are the HTML files. And down here are the TypeScript files. This is where you will do your work. Of course, we're doing all our work in the source folder, as also explained again in the readme file here. Only make changes to files that are located in the source folder. All files located in the web folder will be overwritten at build time. And in fact, I have set up my development environment so that the web folder is not even shown. I can't touch the files and folders inside of the web folder because they are not shown in my development environment. Now we'll take a look inside of the HTML files. They are exactly as you would expect them to be. I've added some content. There is here a OJET select one custom element and an OJET chart. And they are connected together by the fact that they both reference a property named val. And that property val is defined in TypeScript. Here we see it. For the rest, we see very familiar code from the Oracle Jet cookbook. But of course, we also see our typical TypeScript constructions, such as the idea of a class, a constructor, import statements, very familiar to Java. What's really nice about using TypeScript is that you can use your editor's code completion far more effectively or in fact, an editor can be far more effective in supporting TypeScript than JavaScript because, of course, TypeScript is typed. Now here we can see when I do code completion on the type here that these are the various types of charts that are available. 
And so I do code completion right at the start of that particular word. I will see all the different properties that are available as well as the related documentation. This is the kind of editor support that a type-based language like TypeScript is able to make possible. So here I am in my terminal and I do TSC and W which starts the TypeScript compiler in watch mode and in my other terminal window I do OJET serve. And at the end of the serve process, unsurprisingly, I have my application up and running and working exactly as it would when I was using JavaScript and HTML, where now I'm using TypeScript and HTML. Let's now see what happens when we make a change. So, for example, I changed bar here to line and I do save. And you can see that that change is picked up by the OJET process. And, well, we can't see that right now, so let's make another change, make this change to pi, and save. You can see that very quickly a message appeared here. But now let's, let's make a mistake. So let's change type to ipe. You can see that the process from the TypeScript compiler tells me there's an error. And my editor helpfully tells me that the spelling can be changed to type, which would make sense, that a new property needs to be created, or that this needs to be added to the index signature in TypeScript. So a number of different options are available here thanks to my editor. And I'll just say type and it's correct. And now there are no errors. Well, here you can see how an editor together with the TypeScript compiler and the Oracle Jet process works really well. In short, the highlights of this story are, first of all, that Oracle Jet supports TypeScript. Secondly, that this is well documented in the JavaScript documentation. And the third point is that there is a template to help you get started. Go to OTN and download the JET TypeScript start template. Follow the steps in the readme file and you're good to go. TypeScript and Oracle JET, a really good fit.